friends, I welcome you all back to my video tutorial. In the last video tutorial, I told you about the rationalization of pure recurring non-terminating decimals. In this video tutorial, I will tell you about the rationalization of impure recurring non-terminating decimal. So, impure recurring non terminating decimal so what are impure recurring non terminating decimal now the point is what are impure recurring i have already told you that uh, let us take an example 46566 56, 56, 56. So this is a number. In this number, after this decimal, we can see that 56, 56, 56, 56 in pairs repeating itself. But immediately after the decimal, they have not started repeating. Before their start turn of repeat, before the repeating of these digits, 46 is there, and 46 is not repeating in any. Uh, fashion in this number. So only 56 will be. So before the recurring of digits had started, there was a lag. This lag was of 0.46. So I have already told you in my previous video tutorial that if there is a lag, that is if after the decimal, the numbers have not started themselves immediately in a fashion, but they have started themselves repeating in fashion after a lag, then they are termed as impure recurring non-terminating decimal. Now, we have to look at the rationalization of impure recurring non-terminating decimal. So this is an example, but in order to explain this, I will change this question a bit. The reason of changing this question a bit, I will tell you. But I am changing this question a little bit. Suppose, I suppose a decimal something like this. 865. 58, 58, 58, 58, so on. Now we can see that this is an impure recurring non terminating decimal. Now, in order to rationalize this impure recurring non terminating decimal, obviously the strategy is the same, and the strategy is that if we have to change this number in the form of p upon q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0, we have to eliminate this decimal part. And in this question, there is no decimal. There is only a decimal part. There is no, you can say that this part, which is to the left side of decimal. That we can say that as an integer part, because if it had been 1.865, we could have written it 1 plus 0.865, but it is 0, so this is only the decimal part. And we have to eliminate this decimal part and break it in the form of p upon q. So what is the very first step that we are going to do? The very first step in this question that we will do is first count the lag. That is, that before the digits have started repeating themselves, that is 5858, five, before the repetition, how many digits are there which are not repeating themselves? So they are 865, there are 3 digits. 3 digits. So I write here 3. Plus, after this, how many digits are there which are repeating themselves? They are 5 and 8. So I write 5 and 8 plus 2. How many? 5. So I will multiply this number by 10 to the power 5. This is my strategy. That is 1 lakh. I can repeat the number of digits that are not repeating. That is 1, 2, 3. And one time the number of digits that are repeating themselves. That is 5 and 8. So total 5. So I multiply this number by 10 to the power 5 n. And at the right hand side it will become something like this. 5, 8, 5, 8. So on. This I will mark as equation number 1. In the second case, I will just count those numbers which are not repeated after the decimal. Which are those numbers? 865. How many zeros? 3 zeros. So I will multiply it by 10 to the power 3 or 1000. So it will become 10 to the power 3 n. And it will be something like this. This is the second equation. Till now, many of you would have got it that what is the purpose of doing this thing? One time I multiply by 10 to the power 5, one time I multiply by 10 to the power 3. The basic purpose of doing all this stuff is that in both these equations, my objective is to make the decimal part same. 
This is the only objective mind. And you can say, see here, the decimal part has become same. 0 0.5858, 0 0.5858. So now what is going to happen? If we are going to subtract the second equation from first equation, I am subtracting the second equation from first equation. So 10 to the power 5n minus 10 to the power 3n. Write it. And this minus this. So I will write 8, 6, 5, sorry. 6, 5, 5, 8, point five eight five eight minus 8, 6, 5, point five eight five eight so on. You know that this decimal part, 0 0.58, 0 0.58 is going to get cancelled. What will we get here? Here we will get 99,000 N. You can see, 10 to the power 5, 9, you write it here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1,000, you subtract it, you will get something like this. 99,000. So 99,000 N and here 0.58, 0.58 is cancelled and what we will get by subtracting it, we will get something like this. 8 minus 5, 3, 5 minus 6, 9, 14 minus 8, 6, 5, 8. So my answer will come out as N is equals to 8, 5, 6, 6, 3 upon 99,000. This is the rational form is this number of this number n is equal to 0 0.865585858. I hope this whole process is clear to you. The only objective of once multiplying it by 10 to the power 5 and in the second place multiplying it by 10 to the power 3 is that that we have in both these equations we have to make the decimal part same because when we are going to make the decimal part same then obviously those decimal part will cancel each other and we will get an integer on both sides. And by getting integer on both sides, we will be able to rationalize the number. As far as or as long as we are going to have a decimal, we can't change it into a rational number. So this was the reason. Now, one thing I would like to say here, when I was telling you about the classification, I told you about the impure and pure recurring. But before that impure and pure, pure recurring concept, I told you one thing. The thing was that, that when I told you that uh, in the starting I told you that there are two types of decimals I told you that those decimals which are terminating and those decimals which are not terminating now remember in the non-terminating decimals I told you that those decimals which are recurring and those decimals which are not recurring so I said to you that we will take cases of recurring I said to you that why we will not take cases of recurring because the point is, suppose we take the value of pi, 3.1428 and something. Now in this number, in the decimal part, the digits are not repeating themselves in a fashion. They are repeating themselves in a random order. And that is not right, uh, a right thing to proceed. Because if the digits that are after the decimal, they are not in a fashion, then they cannot be converted into a rational number. You have to understand this fact that only those digits, I repeat, only those decimals can be converted into a rational form which are recurring in nature. All those decimals which are not recurring in nature cannot be converted into a rational form. Obviously, I am talking here about the non-terminating decimals. I am not talking about the terminating decimals. Obviously, terminating decimals can be converted into rational form. But when it comes to non-terminating decimals, only those non-terminating decimals which are recurring in nature can be converted into a rational number. All those non-terminating decimals that are non-recurring cannot be converted into a rational number. So, first thing, if you want to rationalize a decimal, you should first look at it and see that if it is a non-terminating decimal, then after what you have to see that it is a recurring decimal. If it is a recurring decimal, whether pure or impure, it can be rationalized. But if it is a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal, that number cannot be rationalized. Okay, coming back to this, I will explain this process to you once again. We have to equate or we have to make the decimal part similar. So one time I multiplied by three times digits that is not repeated and one times the digits that is repeated. So 10 to the power 5. In the second case, only those digits that are not repeated, so 10 to the power 3, subtracted it and got the answer something like this. Now we have to look upon the shortcut of doing this thing. You should have noted down this method. Now I am going to tell you the shortcut of doing this thing. Here 
in order to rationalize this number, what do you have to do? This is numerator, this is denominator. In the numerator, first write down those numbers which are not repeated. These are 865, you write it down. Then once write down those numbers that are repeated. That is 588, only one time. So I will write 588. From this number, I will subtract those digits which are not repeated. So which digits are not repeated? 865. So I will write down 865. Below it, I will write down 9 that much times according to which the digits are repeated. Here say 58, 2 digits are being repeated. So 2 times 9 I will write here. 9 9. 58, 58, 58, 58. 2 digits are getting repeated, so 2 times 9. After that, how many digits are not getting repeated? 3 digits are not getting repeated. So how many times? 0? 3 times 0. This is the shortcut of doing this thing. If you are going to solve this thing, it will come something like this. 3, 9, 6, 5, 8, 5, 6, 9. Okay. This is something like this. This is 9. So, 8, 5, 6, 9, 3 upon 99 dollars. So, this is the way to approach these things. I will again repeat this thing to you. The shortcut says, in the numerator, first you will write down those digits that are not repeated, 865. Then one times those digits that are repeated, 58. Minus those digits that are not repeated, 865. In, new, in denominator, you will write that much times 9, how many digits are repeated? So 58, 2 digits are repeated here, so 2 times 9. And that many times 0, how many digits that are not repeated? 865 are not repeated, 3 digits are not repeated, so 3 times 0. So this is the rationalized form. This is the shortcut to approach this question. I will take one more example and that too a difficult one. Suppose I have a number and it goes to 0 0.5876 858, 858, 858, 858, 858, so on. You want to rationalize this number. What is the way? And it goes to draw this. First, those digits that are not repeated in an order. 5876 is not repeated in an order. So I will write down 5876. Then after this, one time those digits that are being repeated. 858 is repeated. So I will write down 858. Minus, I will subtract those digits that are not repeated. Which digits are not repeated? 5876. I will subtract it. In the denominator. Now, how many digits are getting repeated? 1, 2, 3. 858 is the triplet. 3 digits are getting repeated. So 3 times 9. And how many digits are not getting repeated? 5876. 4 digits are not getting repeated. So 4 times 0. So this is a rationalized form of this number. It is as simple as this. This is the shortcut. The long method I told you. In the long method what you will do? Once you will multiply n by 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 digits not repeated. 5, 6, 7. 3 digits repeated. So 7. First you will multiply by 10 to the power 7. Then you will multiply 10 to the power 4. Minus it and calculate the answer. It will be something like this only. These both things are the same thing. These both steps are the same thing. The method of seeing them is different here. But this method is definitely a bit faster. And this is the method which is which is advised from my side to you. From the perspective of SSC combined graduate level examination, this type of questions are very important because every year there is a question like this in the paper. And these type of questions should not take more than 10 to 15 seconds to solve from you if you know this method. Because in the question paper, the questions will not be of this much level. They will be very easy. Something like uh, 0 0.112 and bar or 0 0.11 bar 22. This type of question will be there. Very small questions. This is a big, uh, large question. So, it is taking some amount of time will be there to subtract this from this. But in the examinations, question will be easy. And this method will be, give it, will be very helpful to you there. So, before finishing up this lecture of impure recurring non terminating decimal, I will once again tell you the method of doing it in the shortcut in a generalized form.
will arise from something like this. You will be able to remember it quite easily through this. Suppose the number is something like this. A, B, C dot D, E. Sorry. D, E. D, E. D, E. So on. D, E. Now you have to rationalize this number. So what you will do? N equals to first time those digits which are not repeated. So A, B, C. Then one times those digits that are repeated. D, E. Minus one times those digits that are not repeated. A, B, C. Upon that many times 9, that many digits are repeated. So DE is repeated, 2 digits are getting repeated. So 2 times 9. And how many digits are not repeated? ABC. So 3 times 0. This will be rationalized form. So this is the simple method of dealing with impure recurring non terminating decimals. I hope you like this lecture. At the end of doing all the theory of number system, I will start taking up questions of this thing. Or maybe I will plan it to take the questions at the end of the whole curriculum of these studies. Questions are very much important for practice. In contrast to the response that I will get to my videos. If my videos are liked by you guys and if in the comment section if you think that uh, my work that I am doing here is a very good work and you are genuinely benefiting from this sort of work then you leave in the comments saying to me that sir please upload more videos I we like seeing them. So I will upload more videos. If there will be no response, obviously if I will feel that nobody is watching these videos then it is futile to make these sort of videos and waste this much amount of time. So I will continue making these videos if there is a response from your side and uh, if you like my videos only leave in the comment that we like your videos and kindly upload more videos and I will upload it. So at this point of time I am finishing my lecture. In the, my next lecture I will tell you the properties of prime number and how to find that whether a number is prime or not and further classification of numbers. After that we will stop it and go to prime factorization. Thank you.